Welcome to FMA 0134, Mathematics 3. Today, we're going to learn Chapter 2, Curve and Polar Coordinates. The topics covered are parametric equations, polar coordinates, and the graph of both uh, equations, both types of uh, coordinates, okay? So, what is, okay, the first thing that we normally we use is called Cartesian equation. So, uh, we can say it as a rectangular re equation. Why it is called rectangular uh, equation? Because if you look at, we have an x axis and y as this okay so we have the this is the point okay so when you form of it it will become a rectangle so that's why it normally is called a rectangular equation and then you have a parametric equation so parametric equation why is that have an x because uh, actually it will be always uh, come in a pair x and y okay so that's why it's called parametric equation and the parametric equation always is come with the third variable, okay, let's say t, theta, and so on. And the, the best of it is called the polar coordinates, okay. Polar coordinate, we have the r, r is stand for radius, and then we have the theta, okay. And especially for the polar coordinates, when you sketch the graph, sometimes it will come up a very uh, nice picture of it. Okay, this is uh this is called cardioid. Okay, and then now we look at parametric equation. The first uh let's say we have a uh, some curve such as the cycloid. Okay, are the best handle when both x and y are given in terms of the third variable. It's called a parametric. So we have uh, x equals to f t y equals to g t. So one of it is uh one of the example is called cycloid. Okay, a curve traced by a point on the rim of a circle when the circle is being rolled along a straight line so this is the cycloid okay and it's it is best to represent it in a parametric way because uh, later on you will know that okay and then after that we have other curves such as the cardioid have their most convenient description when we use a new coordinate system called the polar system a cardioid from the grid okay it's a heart it's a plan curve that traced by the point on the per uh, perimeter of a circle that is rolled around a fixed circle on the same radius okay so if you can see of it okay so this is called cardioid and it's the, the one you love to say is a heart shape okay okay so the equation of this uh, cardioid is 2a1 minus uh, cos theta just now the uh, cycloid is uh, x equals to so on okay okay so objective of this chapter 2 is at the end of this chapter the student are able to express the parametric equation in cartesian vice versa and sketch the graph Define polar coordinate and plot the thing, and then uh, and and then you do the uh, symmetrical test of the polar equations. Okay, so now why you need to learn parametric equation? Okay, so consider the path of an object that is proper propel into the air at the angle of 45 degree so you're going to have the 45 degree here okay so follow the trajectory okay if you see here it will come in down okay when the initial velocity of the object is 48 feet per second it can be shown in the object followed by the parameter parabolic path okay just like just now this one okay then however this equation does not tell the whole story although it tells you where the object has been okay but it does not tell you when the object was at a given point okay so let's say you want to know okay uh at 36 uh when your x is 36 uh y and the height is 80 when is the time okay you want to know the time okay maybe you want to shoot or whatever okay so then now we uh to determine this time you can introduce a third variable t is called a parameter okay so it is possible to write x and y such as function of t to obtain the parametric equation so this is the rectangular equation then after that we have a way to convert it into the parametric equations no worry you're going to learn it after this okay this is the parametric equation okay so from here we will know that is when t equals to zero both are at the origin okay and when t equals to three set two over four okay it will be at the highest point and when t equals to uh, three set two over two 
and will be falling down. Okay, so we want to know when the t okay when the time if uh how the uh where the stone or whatever the ball will be at the highest point and when it will be on the floor again. Okay, so now from this set of equation you can determine. That a time of t the object is at the point zero zero. Similarly, when t equals to one, okay, when maybe it's a one second and so on, the object is at the point of this one and so on. Okay, so this is the use of the parametric equation. Okay, so for how about polar coordinates? Okay, from a physicist's point of view, polar coordinates r theta are very useful in calculating the equation of motion from a lot of mechanical system, and object moving in circles and the dynamic and so on, called Lagarian and uh, Hamilton of a system. Okay, so using polar coordinates in favor of cardinal uh, coordinates will simplify things very well. Okay, some uh, sometimes because of the uh, theta is very good in designing. Okay, extended polar coordinate into a 3D spherical coordinates. This will help a lot of in doing calculation on field. Okay, and in short, polar coordinate make calculation easier for physicists and engineering engineers. Okay, so the reason is because of they are using theta. Okay, theta normally we are saying that is an anchor, so it going to help you to design the new model. Okay, so the real life application of the polar coordinate, one of it is the might you use. Okay, this is uh this one. Okay, so actually this is the cardioid. Okay, we draw just now. Okay, from this one is saying that is at top of here. Okay, the the why the might uh, why they always uh you are talking at here why not talking at the this side okay from this side because at this way okay in front directly in front you can absorb the most uh voice uh the voice from it okay compared to other part okay so this is the cardiac way okay so why the why the mic is not the whole totally oval shape but it's it's a spherical shape but it is in a cardiac shape because they know that it's uh no use also okay if you have a bigger space also okay <clears throat> okay so now <clears throat> we look at the first one is called okay a coordinate system represents a point in the plane by ordered pairs of numbers are called coordinate okay usually we use cartesian or we call it as a rectangular coordinate okay so they are represent a point by two distance from the origin horizontal and vertical okay so horizontal uh, sorry this is vertical this is horizontal and each teacher we going uh, in this chapter we're going to learn two parametric and the polar okay so now first we look at the parametric equation okay this is the curve normally this is the uh, sum of the curve of parametric if you look at it actually this one you learn during your max one, okay? This one actually is an relation. It is not a function. Reason is if you use vertical line test, okay, you have uh, a lot of intercept, okay? So this is not a function. So if it is not a function, you are difficult to write it into a Cartesian, uh, Cartesian equation, okay? Now, so now we look at the, what is the definition of parametric equation. So suppose we have an x and y given as a function in a third variable t, we call it as a parameter. Not necessarily t, you can use theta, you can use omega, you can use p and so on. As long as it's out from the x and y, okay? The parameter t does not necessarily represent t, time, okay, you can represent others, but normally we just will assume t as a time. Uh, Theta is an anchor, omega is a frequency, and so on. Okay. So now parametric curve is each value of t determine a point x, y. We can plot in a coordinate. Okay. And then you plot according to the value and so on. Okay. And by plotting the result points in the order of increasing of value of t, you can trace the curve in a specific direction. And this one is called orientation. Okay, so means that when t equals to 1 is here, t equals to 2 is here, t is here. So when you join this curve, okay, and then you can say that this thing is moving this way. So this is called orientation of the curve. Okay, if the normal curve, okay, the xy curve, you cannot 
know that what is the orientation. 